Coming into focus in Swatra, Derry versus Carlo, with the home side ending an unusual campaign with an impressive win to remain unbeaten and yet still not qualify for the Liberty Insurance All-Ireland Intermediate Semi-Finals. Three draws and this win are not enough, though they will take a lot of positives from the four games, which included an excellent display against Cork. It's definitely been a season of progress for Derry and they had 10 points to spare in this victory over Carlo. Gronya McNichols set the tone for the contest with a point after only 10 seconds. A well-made and well-taken goal followed, Gronya McGoldrick setting up Mary Hegarty as Derry dominated the opening exchanges. Though Carlo did hit back with a good goal of their own when Kate Nolan fired to the Derry net. Dervla, a comprehensive win for Derry in the finish up. Not enough to take you through to the semi finals, but you have to take heart from that performance today. Yeah, so it was a brilliant uh, performance from all the girls. We, we were going out, we had three draws behind us, and we, so we really needed a win. But uh, we went out, we had a very, very convincing win. We really came out with it in the second half, but unfortunately, it just wasn't enough to come through today, and everyone's very disappointed. But we put in a really good shift, and we're really happy with how we've done this year. No, no losses at all, so we're really, really happy with that. Yeah, that's certainly something you can take from this year. That you, you have, you're unbeaten. Uh, it's disappointing, but at the same time, you know that that is something to take into next year. Yeah, it's definitely ground to work on anyway. So we know what like we've come up against everyone this year. We've put in a very hard shift, and we know what we can do. We know what to work on for for next year, and going in with no losses as well. It's something like that to be proud of, kind of thing as well. Even though we would have probably a lot of games we could have won. But no, um, we definitely can work on that and bring that to the platform next year and hopefully have a few more wins and bring it to the ne next year's championship. John, disappointment that Derry didn't progress today, but um, you can't ask any more of them. They, they give their all today. Yeah, it's, it's very disappointing for the girls um, that we, like, we, we haven't been defeated. Um, never lost a game in the championships here, but not to qualify. Um, like today, the girls gave everything again. Um, we went in a pint down, well, no, we were a pint up at half time. Probably should be a bit more, but the girls lifted again in the second half and, and ran, out, ran out convincing winners. Like in the end, they were well on top of there at the end. It is disappointing from that they don't get to, into the semi-final and give themselves another chance to, to see how far they've improved this year. But overall, I think they're happy enough. Um, just in that we, as far as championship goes, we had a good, we had a good year. We had three draws and a win is, is not bad. But of course, you want to, you want to progress. They'll be disappointed going home, but I'm sure when you look back at it, they think they, you know, they played well. And you know, at the end of the day, you want to, if you're playing well, that's part of the part of the enjoyment out of it. Like you know, back to today's game. Um, such a bright start. Uh, Carlo came back into it again, but you really showed grit and determination in the second half there. Yeah, uh, towards the end of the first half, it was touch and go. We were maybe we had started off very well. We're up maybe two goals anyway at the start. But um, you yeah, know they definitely come back into it towards the end. I think we just kind of were on a bit of a low. We kind of lost a bit of energy. But toward the second half, definitely everyone upped it. We had so many more scores. There was points taken from everywhere, so it was brilliant to finish on a high. Yeah, certainly some well taken scores um, defensively. Very sound there in the second half. Yes, they've been very strong all year. The defence they've come out with tackles that you wouldn't expect anyone to come out with at all. But no, they've they've definitely definitely like. They've done us very well and anyway, up in the forwards, they've been passing up balls of, of what forwards would want. So um, now they've been brilliant and we couldn't have asked for better. Oh yeah, well, like the first first 10 minutes I thought, oh this is going to be pretty handy. Like The, the girls have started great, but then we started making little mistakes and we got a slight bit lazy and let them back into the game. And you know yourself, if, if, you, if you let the other team have a go that they're gonna they'll make hay, especially just left all county county teams. Like, um, got, them in, got them in at half time with a good chat with them and, Coming out in the second half, the girls then you notice. Know, at the end of the day, it's up to them. So it's up to them. Like they have to come out and do it. We can only talk to them and think, say what we think. They have to actually go out then and, and perform. In the second half, they came out and they just they, they got well on top. They went seven or eight pints up there. Like uh, gave away no goal, which was a big plus in the second half. You know they cut out all them little mistakes, put in a massive effort in the second half and got their got the result got the result like. And um, just looking back on the the season as a whole. Do you feel you're going in the right direction? Um, would you say progress has been made this year? Definitely, yes. Even from the start of the year from the league, there was matches like we're playing in probably worse conditions than what we are this year, but are from the start of the year. But um, yeah, no, definitely progress. Progress has been made. We've been 
putting up higher scores than what we have at the start of the year, so definitely that's something to take from it as well. And we've been competing with the best, like the likes of Cork, we drew against, and they're like, they're what you want to be anyway. So definitely to draw with them was a brilliant, brilliant achievement. So that's what we aim to be next year as well, up and competing with everyone again. Um, we've done a lot of good stuff this year. Uh, we have a good system there now, a good process. The girls are starting to believe that they are elite, you know, they are elite athletes. Like they're, they're, they're the top girls in the county and they're as good as what's about. Um, they just need to start to believe in that and hopefully bring that into their preparation and how they look after themselves. And, but it's coming, like they're, we showed it there today, it is coming and they're getting more, they're more um, streetwise and how they play and stuff. They've showed the character that's in the group, like they're, they're a super bunch of girls and they deserve to get the Croke Park beat next year or the year after, whenever, but I think it'll happen at some stage.